What is up you guys? Welcome back to another video. So today we're working on the red truck, on the red F-150. We're doing the box that I told you guys about. Uh, Say hello. El Gabacho. So this is the box right here. He got down guys, check it out. Uh, he ended up putting the 12 inch speaker in the center where the center of the box so you guys can see it right here check it out all the little details he put into it right here so what you do right here in the middle the supports right huh just some supports but what you do to them that you rounded them out or whatever for what just have better airflow so yeah guys he look camera shy he uh <laughs> he rounded out the the these were squared off he rounded them out I guess kind of like to the air to flow freely instead of crashing into the corners. And then we did a little, um, well, he did. What you do? What is it? A port? Right? Yeah, so he did a port on it, which is sealed off in case we need it. We could open it up and not stay sealed. You know, he, if you guys are returning back to the channel, you guys know I tagged this guy a couple of videos back on the Bondo. It's your Bondo Pro. <laughs> Jeez. He's sanding it down. Check it out. And then we got the the material we're gonna be using is black leather. Ya se ensució, acá mi compa. La dejó allá afuera valiéndole como no es para él. But yeah, guys, it's looking badass. No box is gonna be going into the red F-150. Hell yeah, yeah. We'll probably record this whose truck too right now in a little bit. Give you guys a rundown of, of his truck is badass little. F-152, a red one. Is it a 5.0 or V6? Is it an EcoBoost, no? 5.0, little twin turbo. Ah, Jeez! No All right, guys. We'll do a little time lapse so you can finish up quicker and then we'll get it. <laughs> Okay, so this is a little attention to detail. He came in and he rounded these edges out. No más para que se mire more kind of like towards the style of the truck, right? Mm -hmm. A little more see. design. Esta una lijadita leve. Just to finish it off. But yeah, guys. So it used to be square like this. Like this is the bottom, so we're gonna leave it like that. But what you're gonna be able to see, kind of, this is gonna be nice and rounded. It's gonna look stock. Okay. Ay, le mijo. <laughs> <laughs> Cherry. I guess you still can't see it once it's wrapped. It's gonna amplify the little uh, little detail. Kind of makes it look become one right here. Basically, that's what it looks like. Hi right, guys, so the, the kind of material we got at Fabric R Us right there in Berryessa. Like right now it got stiff. It's a little like rugged. But once the like heat treatment, so like we set it down right here where the sun's hitting it, it gets really soft and it's uh, kind of easy to work with to be honest I've never done this he's he's an expert on this we'll see what he does right now uh, he's gonna see he's got the staple gun so we'll lay it out here first like an inch of material because we're not we're not putting nothing on here there's no point in it it's gonna sit on the bottom so we go an inch over staple 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 throw glue high strength 90 uh, contact adhesive all right, so this is what he's using, and then uh, we spray it, kind of flush it out, flush it out, and then another staples here, and then it'll be cut here because we're gonna put another template on top uh, to make it look really smooth. Um, yeah, I'll show you guys his box right now. Once we're done with this right here, and I'm about to take off, we'll go and check out his boxes. It came out really nice, guys, and uh, yeah, he, a piece of wood, you know couple afternoons put it together and this is what you get um obviously he he knows i really don't know anything about measuring and 
designing the box or whatever. That's why I brought it to him. But yeah, he's getting down. We're in together, guys. Uh, keep watching the video. And uh, yeah, we'll probably be a two part video. I'm not too sure, depending how the the weather looks. So you guys can see it looks, tomorrow's gonna rain for sure. And then it looks like it's coming in hot. Obviously this can't get wet. So yeah. Let's see what's up. Let's see what the next step is. And then we'll go from there, guys. So it did have the, the little staple gun or whatever it's just called. And then uh, a couple staples. Like, ah, perro. Mejor enseña la mesa que me chingaste, güey. ¿Cuál? Esta. ¿Cómo te la chingué? Tú la dejaste pintada, cabrón. Ah. No, te creo, yo no pinta rojo. Sí. Bueno, no, Ni negro no, tampoco. Negro. Échame la culpa, tú tienes troca negra, yo no. <laughs> All right, so he's gonna go ahead and throw the leather on the on the table first. Chingas a tu verga, perro! <laughs> so we're throwing the leather on here first. Why are you doing this first? Because I want to put that on top of here, so I can spray the glue. Wrap this bitch. Jeez. I'm trying to convince him to open his own YouTube channel, but yeah. I'm cool. I'm cameraman, I can't do anything. Labor is. Alright, guys, so the speaker hole is right here, facing up. And I'm going to put the staples. Ah, la virga. Le sale lo. No, 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 Fuck, you son of a bitch, what the fuck? Y este lo vas a doblar así, nah. ¿Qué? Nah, este no lo vas a hacer así. No, esto ya nah. que esté forrado así, güey. Lo engrapas aquí se y se pongo corta aquí y se hace yeah, una X, ¿no? Yeah, you're just gonna pull it like that. So that corner's just a tight edge, can you? Alright. No creas que no sé, güey. Estoy preguntando por el video, sí, nomás. Sí, no sé, güey. Te creo. Che perro. ¿Vas a levantar? Uy, ya sacó el cuchillón. No, que quería que fuera derecho, güey. Pues toma chévere la pinche china, güey. <ríe> no es cierto, la pinche chinita tenía el pulso acá bien perro. No fue doctora porque no quiso. A ver, ¿qué haces ahí? Pretty much I just cut off all the excess just so I can fold this back. Something like that. Nice. Okay. Now what are you gonna do? That way we can use this Home Depot. What is that? It's just pretty much glue, spray glue, just so I can tack it up. What strength? This one is high strength 3M90. There you go. So we used it before, it works really good. We'll use that. No, para que no te va a olvidar adentro del carro. Remember guys, to close your guys' windows. Te mira bien marihuanos con esa madre, güey. Sorbele que no es gratis. Este güey ya lo hace para pintor, güey, guáchalo. ¡Ah, perro! <risa> El cachao. A ver si pega, güey. Está lleno de tierra ya esa madre. Dale, ver. Ah, no es. No lo bueno. So, the glue, guys, is basically what he said: is to tack up the, the fabric to the box. 
But what's actually holding it on and stretching it will be the staples, right? Mm -hmm. There you go. The glue is just an extra little okay. and so it doesn't move around on you. So it doesn't it doesn't end up being, getting flappy. Well, it could. Oh, that's just strong and we're out in the open guys make sure to wear a uh, respirator when you do this shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <siempre es alcohol. laughs> so we're gonna hold it guess how we're gonna stretch it right i don't have to stretch it too much just gonna slide it down So you guys can see right here guys. Parece mesa la verga, chica jonera. As you guys can tell, the glue, what it's doing is holding this down, making it stretch out real nice. But it already has the staples here, and it got stretched out. Smooth, we smoothed the, the surface a little bit. And then right now, he's going to cut this side. I'm going to staple this just so it doesn't move on us. Oh, see, like, see right here, guys? See, see right here? You just kind of get that crease nice and going. But yeah. You're going to what, an inch in? Yeah, I'm just an inch just to get past the first layer. You don't want to get it where the joint is. Yeah. Then it doesn't really grab anything. And then so it's not visible on the edge when you put the other one on. So what are you doing right here? Pretty much I'm just heating it up so I can stretch it out. In? That way, I'm going to stretch it in. That way I can put some staples in here. And hold it. Okay. Just to hold it in tight. So that you guys can see right here, as soon as he's uh, applying heat, it's flimsy already. It gets nice and stretched. And then right here, it's all like hardish. So, heat, he will help you a lot as well. Act fast to do. And all that's doing is just going to hold the leather in. If there's not on, the leather doesn't move on you. Yeah. Take your time. There's a little rip. Oh, yeah. A little rip there sometimes, but it's okay because we're going to add more along the edge. You don't yeah. see it. Tables? Yeah. I just kind of hold it in place to make the hole, no? Yeah. It's going to go through a lot of the staples real quick, as you guys can tell. We just put a new one. Regardless of your speaker, we'll have a little trim that's going to stick out about like an inch. So just keep in mind leaving it. Well, he's leaving it really close to the yeah, edge I'm right here. Really close. So we have enough space to put the screws and everything, no problem. And he's putting, I think, about two on the corners, one in the middle. He's not going too crazy on it. Either way, it has glue, so it's not going anywhere. Puts clientes exigentes y cosas de mucho. Tengo like this. Estrocas de marcadas right here. Cheese. Este es el press de trocas marcadas. Mire, mire. Oh, lo pasaré.
Alright guys, so right now he's doing the corners. Here did that side and I'm show you guys how it's done. Nice and curved. That this is the little detail that, that I was talking about, the curve. See how it stands out real nice now? And then how he's stretching out these these corners is gonna be secret the secret sauce to success in this fucking project. Oh, hold it on. Thank you, thank you. Just let it tack up. Just let it tack up. Oh yeah, so so the glue, basically you gotta give it what? It's like five minutes? Not even that, maybe just like a minute or two just to get it. You can feel it when you when it's still fresh, it just slides right off, but once it's tacky, it just feels hella sticky. And then it sticks better, it adheres better to the box. And you have to spray it on the actual vinyl or whatever you're using and the box. So it, both surfaces gotta be tacked up, tacks up to, to create itself. that nice bond. I, I fucked up. But <laughs> he said he wipes off with a. Uh, with what? Soap, soap and water? A little Dawn soap will come off. There you go. That Dawn, that Dawn soap be doing miracles. So there you go. Now he's gonna stretch it. And remember, guys, because this is the this is the little edge. We're gonna go with a heat gun. Not too close. Keep your distance. Kind of like you were tinting. You guys know how to tint the whole surface. Mostly the corners and the edges, right? Mm -hmm. There you guys go. Just a little bit. And just pass your hand over it, just smooth it out, make sure there's no bubbles. So, this is key right here how he's gonna go ahead and get these edges so they're not creased up like that. Pinche salecito está haciendo paro, güey. Dice, apúrense a la verga porque va a llover. So I wanna finish today. Casi como dices tú, tres, tres yardas. No, con dos hizo, va. Ahí va a quedar medio estiradón, pero. Aquí viene lo bueno, chequeado. ¿Dónde vas a empezar? No me explica la fe, verga está haciendo. Güey. One second, please. Poniendo los staples y staples. Pretty much, I stapled this side down. This side has already been stapled down. What I'm gonna do is cut off the excess here, just to get that out of your way. Don't be afraid to cut it off. And here, I kind of go like maybe like an inch in, slice it on that side, fold it over. Same thing, don't go all the way to the edge because you will see a fucking slice. And pretty much this corner, you're gonna have that. You just stretch it. And once it's stretched, hit it with some staples. And you have a nice little corner. You can cut this off. corner instead of having it looking like this. That's a little nice little you trick. Don't want, you don't want this just because, which it doesn't look the worst, but you're gonna have this build up and then it causes imperfections. Dirt and shit like that could go in there too later on. So this one nice and looks original, kind of. <laughs> no, well like, cause it obviously doesn't come in original, but it makes it look nice and smooth. So then when we put another, cause we're gonna put another piece of wood on top. Have like a little cap like this. No, basically. You won't see none of that. Yeah, there you guys. Pretty badass. That's a little key. You guys gotta look out. So we're gonna show you one more time on this side. And see if you missed it, you gotta rewind. That's it. Same thing. Be careful because this sometimes goes underneath. Cut it. 
Ah, con el dedo. <laughs> Imagine get your finger. Oh, as well as it. <laughs> you stretch it. To get that nice and flat. Right now the staples. Oh no, I got it. Mm -hmm. Let's cut that out. And anytime you cut it off when you have staples, leave a little piece, it doesn't matter. You're gonna you're not gonna see it just so the staple doesn't slide out. So I have something to grab onto. La Ford looking clean, barely got the wheels, 22s. Ah, perro, pantalla con la lucecita roja. Oh, can I, can I record the engine bay or no? Let's get you fast guys over here. Check it out, guys. Got the cold air intake, otherwise, it's stock. <laughs> this fast little truck, no. Ah, no más, dije, pisé caca, güey. Fuck, it felt like shit. Y que aquí está la troquita. A ver, start it up, start it up. What it do, what it do? Un quemoncito, un quemoncito. Nice 
like, share, subscribe. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is the end of the video. Uh, we got to just putting the leather on the box, and that's it. He still has to finish the panel on top, the ones I showed you. Uh, should be done tomorrow, and then I'll bring the truck, and then we'll fuck around with it, so see how we're gonna, how it's gonna look in the box. I still gotta relocate my amp, and my epicenter, and all that stuff, so. A lot of noise, hopefully you guys can hear me. And uh, yeah, guys, so like, share, subscribe, comment down below what you guys like about this video. And yeah, see you guys in the next one.